It's Maker Fair Week here in North Carolina. I've been really busy the last few days and the dogs are barking. Hush! Some of you may have seen this robot over on DinoFab. It was the all-terrain robot that I built over a year ago. It has Roomba motors in it. It has a Roomba mainboard and uh, a bunch of cool stuff going on with that. It's a pretty cool robot. It'll crawl over quite a few things. And I've come up with uh, quite a display to take to Maker Fair with me. Let me show you what I've got going on here. This is the layout that I've got. I got my taped down fake rocks. They're made out of foam. I have a 10 by 10 arena. That's how much space I get there to work with. And uh, I just squirted some of that, you know, construction foam over some uh, fiberglass insulation wadded up and made some really cool fake rocks for the robot to crawl over so it'll get to cruise along and go over these rocks. And the robot is over here. There it is, in all of its glory, next to Wally. Wally, are you jealous? Hmm, you guys aren't saying much to each other. Well, I think they'll get along. Anyway, let's uh, let me show you what's going on with this thing. It's got a ping sensor, like a lot of the robots I build. It has a rocker bogey suspension, which is really, really cool because when it goes over something, uh, if, it, if it hits one wheel on something, it only has to lift half the mass of the vehicle to get over it. So it's got this really cool cross-link on the top. The Mars um, Science Lab, Curiosity, is based on this. That's what inspired this robot, actually, was, the, uh, was Curiosity. About a year ago when I saw it, a little over a year ago. And it has Roomba uh, robot wheels. I've cut away quite a bit of the plastic around the outside so that they have a little bit more clearance to climb over things. These are really cool. They have a gear reduction in them that's a planetary gear system. They even have uh, sensors um, in them and encoders. So if I ever wanted to use the encoders, I could. The wires are there and I could put those to work. Let's take a look on the inside here now. There's the Roomba main board right there. The only thing I'm doing with that is uh, utilizing the H bridges and there's one there and there's one over here and each one of those runs a set of wheels and they're triggered by those little yellow and gray wires that you see down there on the Dino Fab site there's a, a, a breakdown of those I'll also put it on hack a week because this is hack number 12 and here we have uh, an Arduino clone from Seed Studios it's a Seedduino get the name in there let's get a plug for those guys seedstudio.com uh, it's got a, a mini USB connector on one end which is pretty cool it's switchable 3 and 5 volt output and that's kinda handy and I've got just uh, the wires hooked up here to pulse width modulation output there's my little um, LM 317T voltage regulator that I'm powering the Arduino with put that together on a little perf board and that runs off the power of the battery which is a 14.5 volt I think um, pretty sure that's what it is and there's the whole thing right there and they got a big old nice on off switch on top and the LED so when you turn it on you know you have power so let's uh, get this thing over there in the arena and see how it runs around Oh, there it is, cruising around in this rocky environment. You can hear the wheels jitter around on the uh, cement floor when it tanks here. I'd love to make one like this that's just like the uh, Mars Science Lab, Curiosity, where each individual wheel has a servo and it turns on an axis. And it would do away with the tank steering aspect. That'll be the next robot. But this one's pretty cool, fun to watch. Does a pretty good job climbing over things. Avoids objects. You can see the ping sensor blinking away there. Let's follow it around to give you a robot size view.
those into some crater. It's a rover bot. Well, there you have it. Hack number 12, the uh, Roomba robot, all-terrain robot. Well, sort of all-terrain. I know it hangs up on the foam rocks I made, but, you know, it's cool. It drives around pretty good out in the dirt and stuff, and it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, get a Roomba robot and hack the crap out of the thing. There's so much fun stuff in there that you can uh, use for robots. These wheels are awesome. They've got a lot of torque to them, and they, like I said, they have encoders, so you robot people out there, if you want to dig into those encoders and use them, you can do some pretty neat stuff with these. There's also uh, IR sensors on those that you can hack. Uh, the battery pack is pretty cool. The main board can be reprogrammed from what I hear from someone who worked at iRobot that contacted me and uh, let me know that. So it's about a hundred dollar programmer I guess. It is available. I think it's a Motorola microprocessor. Anyway, it's a pretty fun uh, build. So we're going to take this to Maker Faire. we got to get busy now packing up. Uh, tomorrow is the setup day, so I've got a lot of work ahead of me tonight getting things organized. So i got to get at it. Thanks for watching, and keep on hacking. Let's get to work. Come on, Wally. You can give me a hand.